Alright, this video is on the uh, bus ride here and also the conduct of the Greyhound folks. Um, the bus ride here really sucked. Our bus driver was an idiot and he appeared to be on drugs. Um, there was an issue with my ticket. Now they're used to drug dealers, drug users, trying to uh, pretend like they lost their ticket so they can gain access to the terminal and shoot up in the bathroom. Now Miss Joy, she's a security guard there. Now despite the fact that she was completely overwhelmed and obviously overwhelmed because there was a lot going on. There was an officer there, there was a couple of druggies trying to get in at the same time that I was trying to get in. And they were using the same excuse as me, except that mine wasn't an excuse. She was able to separate between their bullshit and me telling the truth. As a result, I was let in and they were not. Now the other thing is that these people also had a previous history of doing this at the very same terminal. How many bus tickets and how many times in a month are you going to pull that? So, uh, she allowed me in. She was very much agitated, but was doing her best not to seem or come across that way. She took me to Mr. Carlos, who is the manager there at night. And, uh... Mr. Carlos, despite computer issues and everything else that was going on, took the time to help me to get my bus tickets back. I had left them on the bus because my bag broke open, and while I was busy putting everything back in my bag and taping my bag back together, they had cleaned the bus and thrown away my uh, bus tickets. So between Joy and Carlos, they were able to get my bus tickets back. Not only that, but I approached Mr. Carlos after he had already logged off, and he didn't have to do any of what he had done already. I asked him where I could go to spend my EBT somewhere close where I could actually eat because I hadn't eaten since I left Rollins. And uh, even though he was off and obviously wanting to get home, he took the time to direct me here. Mavericks. 0.4 miles from the uh, bus station. He knew exactly where to send me. As a result, when uh, the gentleman who I've been waiting on now, he didn't know where he could go to eat, I knew where to take him. And instead of giving him directions, I walked him there. Now, don't get me wrong, I wasn't able to make it here off of Carlos's directions. I actually was only able to make it here due to MapQuest. But it's the fact that the man took the time to actually explain to me where I needed to go. And, uh, that means a lot. It means so much to me that when I got back to the terminal earlier, I filed a report with Greyhound about both of these people. Now, they don't have, hey, you did a good job reports. They have incident reports. So, I filled out an incident report about the good that these people did for me. That's the thing. In real life, I'm not who you see on the internet. I'm a different monster entirely. I uh, let a man at the terminal use my plug-in so that he could charge his phone that was at like 4%. As a result, he is able to contact his family. And unlike most of the people that I tried to contact, his family was able to talk to him immediately. I don't... Anyway, I want to say thank you to Joy and thank you to Carlos for everything they did for me tonight.